Don't go breaking my heart. Dun, dun, dun. I'll fucking kill you, bitch. I ain't got no time for that shit no more. That's like my new opening line in the dating world. Guru Lassere, you guru for the day. Hey, hey, hey. Guru Lassere, hey. You don't know what he'll say, but he is Guru Lassere. Hi, I'm Guru Lassere, your guru for the day. I give you silly advice. Advice that's actually useful, but a little bit silly. Now, Valentine's Day, my dear, is coming in less than 14 days. Oh my god. And if by any chance you are going through a very tough heartbreak, and you're just taking your time to let time heal it, I'm here to remind you that you don't have that much time. So I'm gonna help you help that heart heal in a lot less time. How? First step, cry. All your tears out, okay? Just picture the worst scenario that the person who broke your heart could do to you right now. Picture them mass murdering your whole family and then cutting their flesh off, seasoning it very well and really well seasoned and cooking it in the oven for 280 degrees for like, I don't know, an hour or 45 minutes. And then they make, they eat it and they film themselves eating the, them, and you have to watch that. Like, goddamn, I would cry. I would cry my tears out. Step two. Once our heart is broken, a demon enters our body. This demon is called Carol. This demon, Carol, makes us want to go to our heartbreaker's house and torch their whole house. But we can't do that because we don't want to go to jail. Oh, oh, no, oh, hell no. So we need to exercise this demon out. So let's get this <clears throat> Carol, I summon thee. Get your ass out of here, Carol. Carol, ain't nobody got time for you, you know? Don't you got no, gro don't you got grocery shopping to do like Carol for real? Carol, it's time for you to depart you. There you go. Carol has left the building or has left the body. Step three. So your self-confidence might have been reduced due to this heartbreak. So please be kind to drop your motherfucking Big Mac and let's get you a gym membership. Because once your body is being worked and is fit and healthy and it's looking good, you are going to feel so confident in your body and you are going to get so much attention and you're going to be like, <laughs> oh my god, this is attention I can't even, like, ah, what, a heartbreak? Oh my god, I forgot that I had a heartbreak. Step four, you need to get rid of all objects that belonged to the heartbreaker because you are not a ghost. This ain't the conjuring or the poltergeist. This is reality. You need to throw everything that belongs to them away. But hold up, wait a minute. Some of that shit cost really, is really like, it's really expensive. So sell it. Money brings temporary joy. Fifth and final step, be proactive. Just make something out of your life because when February 14, finally hits you and you are there surrounded by people in relationships and love, you can look back to yourself and be like, oh my God, I have followed all of Guru Lassery's steps and I am a much more healed person than I was before I watched Guru Lassery's video. How long have I been talking? Damn, I've been talking so much. I'm gonna let you go and sort yourself out. So if there's anything you want me to discuss, put it in the comments below. Or you can find me on Twitter at Lassery and hashtag it Guru Lassery. And before I end this video, be sure to subscribe, share, and like the video. And I will see you guys next time. Why? Because Guru Lassery has spoken. It's good to be back, y'all.
because y'all motherfuckers needed me. You couldn't handle all that shit all by yourself. You needed a grown man to tell you how to do, do what you do and do what you do. <laughs> I'm so funny. <laughs>